All right, everyone, a little bit of science news here, although it is most likely pseudoscience news, because if you look at the original study, it's not peer-reviewed. And if you look at what other scientists are saying, it seems that most of them are unable to replicate um, this, this particular condition. They think that they have discovered, well, this one particular team, uh, a superconductor capable of operating at room temperature. <clears throat> it's called LK99. And what it is is the mineral apatite, actually, which has been somehow impregnated with, uh, with uh, atoms of copper and uh, then acts as a superconductor, but it doesn't need either a huge amount of pressure or an extremely low temperature, which typically they're used for. It's, it's used in a handful of applications, but if you discovered a superconductor, so basically lossless electrical transfer, capable of operating at room temperature, the efficiency of many electronics in the world would go up by an enormous amount. <laughs> we're, we're talking a revolution within technology if they were to actually discover it. So a shit ton of scientists are looking into it, and they're hoping it's true, but they haven't been able to replicate the original study. The, the claim has not been replicated. Of course, even if you do discover that material, does it last long enough to be efficient? Is it stable? You know, if you shoot electricity through it too long, will it blow up or something like that? It's called experimentation, so they're, they're currently trying to replicate it. We can hope... Uh, because it would definitely make computing a lot better. Uh, <laughs> computing would shoot through the roof. Um, the efficiency of, of the power grid would shoot through the roof. Everything would be overhauled. It would be almost as big a development as the Internet. Uh, <laughs> it, it would tie in with the Internet. Everything computing related within medicine, automobiles, levitrains, trains, ev 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 fucking airplanes, everything would become an order of magnitude more efficient. So this is like the holy grail of, of engineering uh, that we're talking about. But the odds aren't very good. Unfortunately, the concept of impregnating a mineral with copper atoms, uh, novel, but it, it's like, hmm, you know, using, literally using a mineral instead of a typical metallic substance to transfer. Maybe, though, there's something novel about the way in which the copper and the apatite interact, and it just works. We don't know how yet. But you can't replicate it until you can actually show that it works and review it and re replicate the results. You don't have anything. You have a hypothesis. You don't have a theory and you don't have a working material. So we're going to hope that this is true because, I mean, it would be nice if uh, electrical transfer were effectively lossless. It would be nice if they did develop a material that was capable of... Uh, of generating and transferring electricity. But, I mean, this would make electric, uh, electric cars actually useful. <laughs> it would probably be used, definitely be used in that technology. Uh, the first, I mean, the, the cost would go down. <laughs> Fueling them would be a lot easier. Hell, uh, refueling would be a lot faster, too, if you uh, had this material to operate at the pumps. It would be quite something. Um, everything, transport sector, medical sector, Technology in general, like, you know, actual energy generation, you need conductive materials in every power plant, at the substations, you need it in cars, you need it in trains, at this point you need it in bikes now, because they've got those fucking battery-powered e-bikes instead of just pedaling like a normal person. But LK99 probably ain't it. Until they can replicate it, of course, it's not. So uh, I remain skeptical, but this could be the biggest science news in decades. It's just not likely. How very, very sad. That's about all. Peace out.